All right, YouTube. I'm here to show you my hydroponic system I got set up out in my atrium. Uh, first time with hydroponics. I'm learning as I go. So, if you see anything in this video or in my uh, future videos you have questions on, just com put a comment on, and uh, hopefully I'll learn something from you guys, and maybe some of you beginners can learn something from me. So, I started everything off in the rock wool. Uh, just read from what I read online and the videos I watched on YouTube. Uh, rock wool seem to be pretty popular, so there's some iceberg lettuce. That's up and looking good. There's some a little root showing on that one. You can't really see it, but I got some in the system already. And there's just a couple of tomato plants back here that are that are showing. A lot of the other things haven't came up yet. This flat I saturated everything before I planted and I think that might have hurt some of the germination because not a whole lot came up. But in this flat, I took a, or I was a little bit easier on the water. And there's some chives in the back and some cilantro. Uh, parsley, that's just finally coming up. Uh, there's some basil right in front of it. And those three taller ones are broccoli. So, and I, got, I have some other ones in the water already. In this flat, I. Uh, this is going to be for my outside garden, just some tomatoes and peppers, nothing too crazy. And then I replanted some of the tomatoes in these rock wool cubes and peppers, and I just put a little bit of water on top, so I'm going to see how that works out for me. I just did that a few days ago. But this is my system. I only had two runs and decided that wasn't enough, so I just put two more runs on this afternoon. I just got done with it. So. We just got the system up and running. Uh, there's some baby red leaf up here. And I just put the rock wool cubes and put some of those clay balls just for some support. I don't know, there's probably different ways of doing it. And there's a couple of cilantros. And then these are some iceberg lettuce. Lots of baby red leaf. These are icebergs. And down here, I just put some tomatoes in. So we'll see how they do. But these tomatoes just had a little, their taproot was just starting to show through the bottom. So I decided to put them in here just to establish more of a root system. I'm putting together a Dutch bucket system that I'm hopefully going to keep the tomatoes in. Some strawberry plants. These two are looking really good. That one I just planted, and these two I just planted just a couple of minutes ago. So you can see they went from that to that, so they're obviously getting the nutrients and they're looking pretty good. Down here I put some chives in. But pretty much all I did was I drilled a one inch hole and put a three quarter inch extender to what I had laying around. And Threaded it in, put a little Teflon on, and no leak, so it was a pretty good seal. It kind of made its own thread, threaded itself in as I tightened it. And, uh, so if you want something quick and easy, I think that's the way to do it. Just drill the hole down there, and then not have to be anything fancy just as long as the water goes in. And got these J hooks at Lowe's or Home Depot, wherever your local hard hardware store is, and they're meant for hanging pipes. Just got some four inch and hung them. And, they seem to work pretty good. So I got a lot of spots off to fill. Got the whole top row yet. And there's a bar up top. I decided to string some tomatoes up, or I don't know if I'm going to try cucumbers or not this year, but pretty much all my reservoir. Got my probes in there. I need to clean out those shavings They're from the holes I just drilled. But I'm going to change out this water. I just wanted to get a good flush to make sure I have clean pipes. I picked up this Guardian at my local hydroponics store. You can get them on eBay pretty cheap. So, they're actually probably a better deal on eBay, but I was at the hydroponics store and decided to support them. Everything's hooked up to a timer. Uh, this air pump, which has two lines, one running in the reservoir, and one's acting as a bubbler down inside. So, probably only need one, but there's two ports, so I hooked them both up. But system runs for about half hour to 45 minutes. I don't know, it probably takes probably half hour off then, so every hour 
I don't know, it probably runs for about 45 minutes, I should say. So, but during the heat of the day, I don't know, between like two and five, I have it running a little bit longer and they're shorter intervals just to keep the roots nice and wet. It's not really quite an NFT system, it's, the water's a little bit deeper, but I don't know. This should work out pretty good. This is a Dutch bucket system. Table's still a mess, but my reservoir is going to sit down here. And I have everything strung up, and I put tea in, and you just stub up through this table I made, and got these quarter inch lines, and this is the manifold system. Those little screws, you can adjust the flow or turn them on and off as desired. And they go out with these, these heads. I got these from China, so I don't know. I'll see how they work, but this should work for dis dispensing. But everything just comes into this two inch pipe and did the same thing here, drilled a one inch hole and put a rubber grommet in. Figured that was cheaper uh, than, buy than buying those bulkhead fittings to keep it watertight. So, and just put an elbow down to keep the rock or those clay balls from, from going in. And they should work out pretty good. So, I'll have another video on this system once it gets up and running, but everything's still kind of a disaster on that table. But, um, so that'll be for tomatoes on this side, and there are my herbs and strawberries and peppers will be over here on my, like I call it the NFT, but it's not really quite the NFT. So I guess if you have any other questions, just comment and I'll keep future videos uh, posted up and throughout the season. And, let you know good or bad what I did wrong or uh, be a learning process so stay tuned thanks